How's it going? Thanks for watching uh, once again. I'm going to show you my Victorinox Hiker Swiss Army Knife or Pocket Knife as I always call it. Uh, this is your three layered quite classic type of pocket knife. Um, it's designed to be carried every day. You could put it on your keys but it's a little bit big for that if you ask me. But it fits into your pocket really well and it weighs almost nothing. Uh, it's really light. Now the um, main point of difference um, between this and its uh, sibling tools is the very intelligent addition of a screwdriver, a Phillips head, rather than the bottle opener. Uh, corkscrew, sorry. Um, I have so many more applications for a Phillips head in my life than a corkscrew. And I think most people do, and I think Victorinox has figured that out. So that's the hiker model. The camper model is the same with a corkscrew because I guess they figure camping you're going to bring wine, hiking you're not going to bother with the load of bringing bottles eh? at any rate, maybe I'm looking at it a bit too hard um, I'll go through the tools and weigh in with my thoughts the Phillips head is a good number two Phillips head fits into most Phillips screws has a bit of reach to it um, or you can really get in and get some purchase on it and. Um, get something quite stuck it's good um, the steel on this I've found they don't these screwdrivers don't um, I've run it through some really crappy screws that are all rusted in and the steel really doesn't give too much um, to it um, it's quite good uh, screwdriver steel the next tool is the awl um, it's a great awl but why the nail nick isn't on the other side I have no idea it's a little bit annoying if to reach in, and it's a bit of a, a bit of a nail buster actually. It's real, um, really sharp. You've uh, the thin bit of metal there between the nail nick and the roof of the tool. Um, if you get to it wrong, you can really wang your nail, which um, isn't ideal. But yeah, it's a really sharp, good awl with a proper awl blade bored out of it uh, on the side. It's um, yeah, it's got that sort of like that channel gouge down it which makes it really properly good for for actual reaming so sticking in something and twisting and twisting and making a little hole um, you, then you can stick some fishing line or whatever and you know, mend the sail or do something awesome like that um, or you can yeah do all sorts of things with it geez it's almost a defensive thing isn't it um, but no, again I'm looking at looking too hard I think for uses but yeah, it's a good awl, and I've used it to make holes in my belt when I've lost weight. Uh, a can opener is next. A can opener with a small screwdriver on the end. The screwdriver is a bit rounder than most, so that means it fits into some Phillips heads. Um, but you've got a Phillips head, but I know it's the same can opener they put on all of them, so it's good anyway. Very nice. Um, it cuts into the can properly, it doesn't just punch into it like the Leatherman Juice one or lots of other ones do so you get that whole area um, cutting the can so it does it a lot quicker it's probably the best can opener on a multi-tool I think um, and there's a bottle opener with the bigger screwdriver on it and the wire cutters it also makes really good pry you can get uh, lids off of jars uh, really easily with it so this will open pretty much anything for you be it a paint can or a bottle of beer uh, you can strip wire with that allegedly but I've never tried it uh, the next tool is the piece de resistance of this pocket knife. The really long wood saw that's like as long as the handle actually looks a bit, looks like it could somehow be longer than the handle, but it's not. But it's really good. It's thicker at the bottom, narrow at the top, no, no friction, um, cuts through little saplings and all that sort of thing. I used to use it a bit more than I do now because. Um, this really kicked off the trend of everything having a saw in it, that's for sure. I've got surrounded by that many saws these days. I don't know what to do with them. But very cool nonetheless. Next tool I'll show you is the pen blade, um, which runs with its big brother, the main blade. Um, why you need two knife blades? I'm not too sure. The pen blade is good because it's a bit shallower. If you're running along the top of a box, you're less likely to damage the inside, perhaps. I don't know. I haven't kept these in the best condition. It's really soft steel. Um, it sharpens up easy, but then it dulls easy as well. So um, I generally not too 
I've usually got another knife on me, um, so I'm not too bothered about these knives. Um, so therefore, I'm not too bothered about beating them up even more. So, you know, I might force it through something that I wouldn't force something um, that I cared more about through. And there's a toothpick, and I would never put this in my teeth because I use this for when the tool gets all full of pocket crap and uh, you know uh, lint and stuff like that. I'll open it all up, gouge it all, and then spray. Um, like with a tight nozzle of WD-40 and blast all the junk out so that wouldn't taste great in the mouth. And on the other side is tweezers and these are uh, known to be really good tweezers and they are. Um, they rival tweezers that you buy from shops. They seem, you seem to just get full surface contact and um, pull out pretty much any hair. Um, of course if you want really good tweezers for pulling out splinters you might want a Uncle Bill's sliver gripper which goes on the keyring which is definitely a well used part of my EDC for when I'm cutting wood very very cool at any rate it's a great tool, the alternatives there's many in the Victorinox line and Wenger line that are about this thin um, three layered tools uh, have all sorts of different things on them Just stick with the a screwdriver ones unless you're really into wine and more specifically corkscrew wine uh, Leatherman do the Juice series which is a bit bigger but about the same amount of tools um, if you got the Juice S2 you'd be sort of swapping the saw for scissors and have pretty much the same amount and type of tools left over so that might be a reasonable idea there are, these are only about 30, 35 bucks uh, the Juice S2 would be about 50 or 60 here in Australia so um, yeah it's a really good a good present for somebody who don't know what to get anything for um, it's a good uh, first um, exploration into the field of carrying handy tools. It's um, yeah definitely worth the money and definitely worth pulling the trigger on. If you don't have a Swiss Army knife, get the Hiker first. And then maybe expand into the huge Swiss Champs or the big cool one hand opening ones. Great, great platform to start your collection on. Uh, just normal plastic handles get a bit scuffed up and it's always a bit of a, a bit like when you get a new car and you get your first little nick in the seat or something. It's always a shame to see that perfect plastic lose its sheen, banging around with your keys, but such is life. The shield still sits there looking great, so there we are. Great pocket knife. Wholeheartedly recommend. And thank you once more for watching my videos.